Hi, I'm Lise from the Zoomula Room. This one has been on my to-do list for way too long. I made this oven glove back in 2008 when we built our new kitchen. It's been doing quite well, but it is very worn and faded. Time to make a new one. We are Andy and Lise, a musician and an illustrator. This is where all our crazy ideas come together. Welcome to the Zoomula Room. Please subscribe to our channel. It's completely free. Let's see what we have of fabrics. I made these out of scraps just for fun. It would be nice to use it for something, so let's see what we have to go with it. This one would be good for the lining. And for the rest of the patchwork, I have some 4 inch squares left over from another project and I can cut some more out of these remnants. For the pattern, I cut the long piece first, 87 cm long and 20 cm wide, and square off the ends. I measure 23 cm from each end and draw a line. This is for the hand pockets. I use a compass to make the round ends, but you can also use a suitable plate or bowl. Cut it out and use it as a template to make the two pocket patterns. I use this scrap patchwork, but you can also use squares as I do for the rest. Cut the two pockets. Of the lining fabric, cut one of the long piece and two pocket pieces. It's easiest to cut the long piece on a fold with half of the pattern. Then cut the two pocket pieces. For where the hands are going to be in contact with heat, I use insulating wadding. This one is heat resistant and made of a combination of mylar and hollow fiber. We need two pocket sized pieces of this. For the rest of the wadding, whatever you have left over is fine. We need one long piece and two pocket pieces. And then we need one long piece of patchwork. I'll cut some more 4 inch squares to make 34 in all. I always make more so I can mix and match different colors and patterns. I use a rotor cutter for this, but you can also use scissors only it takes a bit longer. I cut them 4 inches or 10 cm square. Then it's time for a puzzle. Lay out the long pattern and puzzle the squares on top of it until the pattern is covered and you're happy with how it looks. You need four rows of five squares, two rows of four squares, and two rows of three squares. I have a system of laying the squares staggered in one row at a time, so I can see the order I placed them in. Then it's time to sew them together. I spread out the squares for the next row beside each other and sew them together two and two and then together again until the whole row is sewn. Then continue with the other rows until they are all done. I always 
finger press the seams apart before ironing. It's easier to do it that way. Some people like to press the seams to one side, but I find that it can become quite bulky that way, so I press them apart. Give it a good press on both sides. I like to lay out the rows to check how it looks. Now's the time to make any adjustments. Then I stagger them again in the order I want them. Now it's time to sew the rows together. It's easiest to lay them out and visualize the full piece as you go along. Then flip the next piece over to align the squares. Be sure to line up the seams so the pattern turns out straight. Pin each seam in place before sewing them together. one square to the side of each row. Pin it and sew on the next row. Repeat until you have the whole patchwork piece sewn together. Finger press the seams and iron it first from the back and then from the front. Now we can cut out the large pattern piece. To layer the oven glove, first lay out the large lining piece. Then the insulating wadding with the mylar side, the shiny side, down. On top of that goes the large ordinary wadding and lastly the patchwork piece we just made. For the pockets, first the lining pieces, then the wadding and finally the two patchwork pocket pieces. You can now roughly see how the oven glove comes together. Pin the layers together all the way around, making sure all the layers reach the edge. Check the wadding and pull it out to the edge if it's not there. Do this with all three pieces.
find a large zigzag seam on your sewing machine and zigzag all three pieces all the way around, ensuring that all the layers get caught in the seam. Trim off any wadding that sticks out. Now it's time for quilting. I just use a simple crisscross pattern, but you can let your fantasy run wild and do whatever you like. Swirls, zigzags, pebbles, you choose. Let's see, edging. I think I got just the right colour. First edge the pockets. Sew the bias binding on from the lining side first. Open the fold, line it up with the edge and sew straight in the fold line. Then turn it right side out and fold the bias binding over the edge. Sew a top stitch about 1mm from the edge. When you got the bias binding on both pockets, pin them to the large piece and zigzag them on making sure the edges line up.
fold a little piece of bias binding and sew it together to make a strap. Fold the strap and pin it onto the center edge of the oven glove, each end side by side. Take the end of the bias binding, open it up and fold over the last 2 cm of the end. Start sewing it on the lining side of the oven glove at the center of the long part, across from the strap. Again, sew straight in the folding line. the bias binding around the rounded end of the oven glove. When you get to the strap, sew over it, then back up over it and forward again. This will ensure it stays in place even after many years of use. When you get to the end, cut the bias binding 2 cm longer than the end. Then sew all the way to the end of that. To make a neat ending, unfold both ends of the bias binding, then fold them together twice to cover the edge. Pin the end and sew the top stitch all the way around the oven glove, easing it into place as you go.
And that's the finished oven glove ready to use. Now let's retire this worn out gold rag. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, give us a like. Please subscribe to our channel, it's completely free. And if you hit the little bell icon, you'll be notified when we upload new videos. And remember, in a world where you can be anything,